India is a place that can't be read about, only experienced. Behind me you see the River Ganges, where the entire cycle of life, from birth, living and ultimately death, is all played out here in the city of Varanasi. India today is a very different place to one I visited many years ago. When I first came here in the very early days of the internet, you would have found cyber cafes all over the cities. And yet now almost all of those have disappeared. Because when you venture into the Gafar markets of New Delhi, you'll find $20, $30 smartphones from China, Android capable, and now putting in the hands of everyday people the power of accessing the internet wherever they are. So the world of India is changing very quickly. But interestingly, when you look globally, what's happening now with corporations, many of whom still today have thousands of employees working in India, providing their back office functions, running their call centers, this is a world that's already starting to shift. The model of low-cost IT body shops, where cheap programmers provide outsourced business functions for companies, will not last for very long. Already, new platforms like the cloud will challenge the traditional model of low-cost Indian IT. So what will the future hold? In many ways, whether you're a global corporation or even a company that wants to look to export to new emerging markets like this, the key divergence, the key factor and catalyst driving change is not going to be things done cheaply, but the potential of a new rising young middle class, a young Indian workforce with smartphones and the ability and creativity to think up entirely new ideas. Oh,